Hello, I'm Dr. Missick, and I want to welcome you to this program as we continue to look into the life of St. Jude Thaddeus. So we're going to look at the question is, who is St. Judas? On the prior episode, we were in chapter 6 of the Gospel of Luke and the Holy Gospel, and it names the 12 disciples. And uh, we're starting at chapter 6, verse 12. It says, In these days he went out to the mountains to pray, and all night he continued in prayer to God. I think it's very significant. Before he chose his 12 apostles, he spent an entire evening anguishing in prayer about this momentous decision. Who were the 12 men who would he had who would be chosen to lead his ministry under his authority. And it says, And when the day came, he called his disciples and chose from among them twelve whom he named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, and James, and John, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, who is called the Zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. So it's very interesting that he concludes his list of the 12 apostles with two different apostles named Judas, Judas Thaddeus and Judas Iscariot. We also see this in the gospel according to John, where Jesus is speaking to his apostles. And it mentions that Judas speaks and asks him a question. And it specifically mentions that this is Judas, not Iscariot. We find this in chapter 12 of the Gospel of John, starting at verse 20. And that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Then it says, Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? And Jesus answered and said, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. It's very significant. So what's happened, this is kind of interesting, is that St. Jude Thaddeus has become very popular as the patron saint of lost and desperate causes. But the fact of the matter is his name Judas is the same as Judas Iscariot, but there's two apostles named Judas. Judas Thaddeus, who's a good apostle, and Judas Iscariot, who turned evil. Also, I mentioned how we have in uh, the epistles, you have the epistle of Jude before the book of Revelation. And in Spanish, of course, this would be the epistle of Judas in the Aramaic and the Hebrew, the original languages, it's Judah. And in Greek, it's Judas. But in English, we decided to differentiate the Judes. You have a the Judases. You have Judas Iscariot, who turned traitor, and then Judas Thaddeus, who is a loyal apostle of Jesus Christ. So to differentiate them, we call Judas Iscariot Judas in English, uh, and then we call Judas Thaddeus, we call him Saint Jude, but it's really the same name, but different people with the same name. One was a godly person, the other one uh, was a false apostle uh, who was a servant of Satan, according to the Gospel of, uh, of John. So, but still people get confused. I was telling someone uh, in the valley that we're working on this film project about the life of Saint Jude Thaddeus, and uh, they assumed that, because in Spanish you have San Judas Tadeo, but then you have Judas Iscariato. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how you say Iscariot in, uh, in Spanish or Judas Iscariot. Uh, but these are different uh, people, and they should not, should not be confused. Uh, so St. Jude Thaddeus was chosen by Jesus to be apostle. He was sent out. He preached the gospel. He went out into miracles. And according to the early church history uh, historians, St. Jude Thaddeus went and preached the gospel to the peoples of the East, and he's become 
and inspiration to millions of people around the world. But I think that what's significant about this verse, which I'm going to look at in the Gospel of John, let's listen to what, what Jude, Judas, not Iscariot, says. I shall reveal myself to you. Lord, how is it you reveal yourself to us and not the world? Those who love me will obey my commands. And my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Judas, not Iscariot, said, Lord, how is it that you manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus says, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come into him and make our home with him. So we all need to come to an individual decision to follow Jesus Christ. So Thaddeus is asking, Jude Thaddeus is asking, Lord, how is it that you reveal yourself to us, but not to the whole world? Eventually, when Jesus Christ comes in power and glory, he will reveal himself to the world. But right now, he desires people to come to him in humility and re repentance, but also in obedience to his word and his commandment. He says, if someone loves me, Jesus says this to us, speaking to Thaddeus, speaking to Jude Thaddeus, but also speaking to the world. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And what are his words? We find them written in the, the Holy Scriptures. And then he says, we will come into them and make our home with him. This is about opening your heart to receive Jesus as Lord. And this is the call uh, that he makes, the Lord makes to all of us through the word that was spoken through Jude Thaddeus. The Lord is calling you today to love him, to obey him, and to accept Christ into your heart uh, through repentance and obedience to his holy word. So hopefully you can join us on continuing episodes as we look into the life, the message, and the ministry of St. Judas, St. Jude Thaddeus, the apostle of Jesus Christ the founder of the Assyrian Church of the East. I also want to remind the viewers out there that, of course, this is a series, but also I have my book. I have two books, the St. Jude Thaddeus Storybook, available at Amazon, and we also have St. Jude Thaddeus, The Legend of the Shroud, based on the film that I worked, the film project that I worked on with my brother Josiah. So if you want to learn more, you can buy the book, and it's a good way to learn about St. Jude Thaddeus and share the message, this important message, with other people. So thank you, and God bless you.